check out this massive 26 lane highway. This is Houston's Katy Freeway, one of the widest highways in the world, and traffic is worse than ever. Between 2003 and 2008, Texas spent $2.8 billion to add lanes to one of the worst bottlenecks in Texas, aiming to reduce traffic. And although this initially worked, studies conducted between 2011 and 2014 show how commute times actually increased just a few years later. The Katy Freeway connects Houston to the city of Katy and the surrounding area. In 2000, Greater Katy had a population of around 400,000 people. By 2010, this number had shot up to 720,000. And in 2024, the population of Greater Katy is over 1 million and growing. That means more cars on the road, because residents of this region don't really have other commuting options. The name Katy is thought to have come from the railroad, the Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railroad, or the MKT which gave its way to the nickname, the Katy. Part of the Katy Railroad included a direct passenger and freight line between Houston and the city of Katy. But passenger service on the Katy ended in 1957. The rail line was removed in order to make space for the expansion of the freeway, which we only know makes more traffic due to induced demand. And knowing that, there have been some regrets. One of the most glaring mistakes was the failure to convert the abandoned Katy rail line to commuter rail. The Katy Freeway shows that widening roads doesn't solve traffic. It makes it worse. And without real public transit alternatives, commuters are stuck with the same option as everyone else. Follow us here and look for our show, Business Explains the World on YouTube, where I look into the solutions we use to try to solve rush hour and why they don't work.